Autonomic Nervous System Drug Dopamine Intrapen What is the drug classification for dopamine? Dopamine is a beta-1 agonist. What is the mode of action of dopamine? Dopamine activates beta-1 receptors. What are the indications for administering dopamine? It's a critical care drug for heart attack, heart failure, and shock. What are the general side effects of dopamine? It has powerful effects on the heart. Epinephrine, adrenaline. What is the drug classification for epinephrine? It's a non-selective adrenergic agonist. What is the mode of action for epinephrine? It activates both the alpha and beta receptors. What are the indications for administering epinephrine? It's used for bronchospasm, cardiac arrest, and hypotension. What are other agents that have similar effects as epinephrine? ephedrine or ephedron and also available as a bronco is also available as a bronchodilator prazosin mini press fentolamine or regentine What is the drug classification for prazosin and fentolamine? They are both alpha adrenergic antagonists. What is the mode of action for prazosin and fentolamine? They both block alpha-1 adrenergic receptors selectively. What are the indications for using prazosin or fentolamine? They are both used for hypertension, benign prostatic hypertrophy, Raynaud's disease. What are the adverse effects of prazosin or fentolamine? The first dose administered causes hypostatic hypertension upon standing up. It upsets the GI tract of the patient. It may cause incontinence, depression, lethargy, vivid dreams. You should monitor the patient's blood pressure and administer with food. In caution with first dose, avoid ETOH that is alcohol. Atropine, what is the drug classification for atropine? It's a muscarinic antagonist. What is the mode of action for atropine? It blocks muscarinic receptors at therapeutic doses and it may block muscarinic and nicotinic receptors at high doses. What are the indications for administering atropine to a patient? It's used for bradycardia, antidose for muscarinic antagonist overdose. Well, that is muscarinic agonist overdose. It induces fight or flight. What are the adverse effects of administering atropine? Increase heart rate, urinary retention, blurred vision, drying of nasal or oral mucosa, and constipation. 
What are other examples of similar therapeutic agents? I mean, therapeutic agents that can be used instead of atropine. Scopolamine, that's a transderm scope for anesthesia or prevent motion sickness. What is the drug classification for albuterol? Albuterol is a beta-2 agonist. What is the ad indication for administering albuterol to a patient? For asthma, what are other agents that can be used instead of albuterol? Terbutaline, that is brethine, and its indication is to reduce contractions in preterm labor. What is the mechanism of action for albuterol? It activates beta-2 receptors. Bethanechol, that's uricoline. What is the drug classification for a bethanechol? It's a direct acting cholagenic agonist. What is the indication for administering, administering bethanechol to a patient? It's used for urinary retention or to return peristalsis. It increases the tone of the bladder relaxes the sphincter, increases gastric motility. In other words, it helps your digestive system to digest better. What are the adverse effects of administering bethanechol? <coughs> First you have hypotension, syncope, bradycardia, complete heart block, increased salivation, abnormal cramps, sweating, nausea, vomiting, meiosis, blurred vision, increase in bronchial secretions, and acute bronchospasm. One needs to ensure that atropine is available for reversal of the effects of bethanechol. Propranolol, Indorol. What is the drug classification for propranolol? It's a non-selective beta adrenergic antagonist. What is the mode or mechanism of action for propranolol? It blocks beta-1 and beta-2 receptors. What is the indication for administering propranolol to a patient? It is used for hypertension, angina, dysrhythmia, and glaucoma. What are the side effects of propranolol? It um, demonstrates more side effects than selective ones. So there, basically there's a lot. It should be used in, with caution in um, COPD and asthma. Monitor the IO, daily weight, renal, and hepatic functions of the patient when administering propran at OLO. What are the general side effects of all adrenergic agonists? There's about 10. First, you have headache, restlessness, insomnia, euphoria, and palpitations. Then you have dysrhythmias, tachycardia, hypertension, pulmonary edema, and last, cardiac arrest. Phenylephrine, neosinephrine. What is the drug classification for phenylephrine? It's an alpha-1 adrenergic agonist. What is the mechanism of action for phenylephrine? 
It activates the alpha-1 adrenergic receptors. What is the indication for administering, administering sorry, phenylephrine to a patient? It's used for nasal congestion and hypotension. What are some other examples that can be used instead of phenylephrine? Pseudophedrin, that's Sudafed, for nasal use, and tetrahydrozoline, that's Visine, for ocular use. Metoprolol, that's Toprol and Lepressor, as well as Atenolol. What is the drug classification for metoprolol and atenolol? They are both selective beta adrenergic antagonists. What is the mechanism of action for metoprolol and atenolol? They are used for hypertension, angina, heart failure. What are the side effects when using metoprolol and adenol. Fewer side effects than non-selective. What are some things to consider when administering metoprolol to a patient? It's okay to use in COPD and asthma. Monitor the IO, daily weight, and the renal hepatic function while um, maintaining a patient on these types of drugs. Atropine atrovent combination. What is the drug classification for atropine atrovent? They are cholinergic blockers, anticholinergics, parasympatholytics, and cholinergic antagonists. What is the mechanism of action for atropine atrovent. They block effects of acetylcholine at muscarinic and nicotinic receptors. What are the side effects of administering atropine atrovent? The side effects include pupil dilation, increased heart rate, bronchodilation, and drying of secretions. Neostigmine, prostigmine. What is the drug classification for neostigmine? It's an indirect acting cholinergic agonist. What is the indication for administering neostigmine to a patient? It's used for myasthenia gravis, Alzheimer's disease, and glaucoma. What are the precautions and the general side effects associated with neosigmine? You should definitely caution for a cholinergic crisis, that is, overdose. The adverse effects include hypotension, syncope, bradycardia, complete heart block, and abdominal cramps, increased salivation, sweating, nausea vomiting, meiosis, Blurred vision, increase in bronchial, bronchial secretions, and acute bronchospasm.